All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. As you can tell, we're not in the studio. I'm currently working on the studio, doing some construction in there. But I did want to bring one of our weekly payday preps and talk to you about some things going on with Walmart. I've been keeping an eye on and trying to figure out. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. But of course, coffee. Got to have coffee. So my thoughts on Walmart before we get into the weekly prep, guys. In case you guys have not been noticing the lack of employees, yet the giant news constantly being pushed about how Walmart is dealing with theft, losing money because people are walking out of the store from the checkout lines and things like that, which they kind of designed themselves, didn't they? Get rid of the cashiers and just have a bunch of self-checkouts. These are my thoughts. If you go into Walmart today, guys and gals, you will see the employees, the associates walking around with the big carts with all the blue bins. Those are for the online orders. And they, you know, they're about run you over every time you're in the store. They don't care if you're a customer or not. They're just about run you over every single time. And good luck asking them a question. Good luck asking any employee where something is. The response I got, I don't know. I just work here. Um, I used to work at Walmart back when I was 15. And no, I'm sorry, when I was 16. And I had to learn the 10-foot greeting. If a customer was in 10 feet, I had a smile. Can I help you today? And all this other BS. Well, not anymore. Now it's, I don't know, I just work here. Back to the blue cart associates, the blue bins. My opinion, Walmarts are not going to be open to the public as far as you being able to go in with a shopping cart and pick out your item. I believe all Walmarts are going to revert into a warehouse store that you could either order online or do a, you know, have it delivered to your home or have it where you could pick it up. They're going to make these things into just giant warehouses. I think the days of going into Walmart and all box stores is coming to an end, in my opinion. I believe everything is going to be done digitally. You can't use cash. Because we're preppers for a reason, guys, and we've been talking about they're trying to go currency digital. Well, there's enough problems with that, isn't there? So, my opinion, Walmart's going to be shutting its doors to the public where you can only use online purchases. Either they're going to deliver it to you or you can pick it up. They're going to use it. They're going to say it's because of the amount of theft at Walmart. That's not it. That's not it at all. They're going to be doing the push on the digital and it's not just Walmart it's gonna be all box store brand uh, stores you know you look at the old malls they're shut down all right a large majority of them are are shut down they're dead that's because everyone purchases online anymore it's just a giant push for digital another reason why I say stock up food so what we have here this week we got some more of the uh, Alfredo sauce we stock this up. This doesn't last as long as some of the canned good stuff, but it's in a rotational stock. It lasts, all right, we have a two-year rotational stock. This will last two years jarred up because it's constantly being cycled through. This is something we always talk about. Um, just like egg noodles, I've seen the comments, well, egg noodles won't last that long. They'll last two years because I'm stocking up my rotational stock. Anything over that, I use rice, beans, because you can get up to 25 years, if not more, if sealed correctly in mylar. Um, same with our long-term food storage, the stuff that we sell with um, Four Patriots, Legacy, August and Farms, Nutrient Survival. That stuff's 25 years. Uh, some of it's only 10 years. I believe a lot of the August and Farms is 10 years shelf life. But this is canned goods. Now, the argument is canned goods will last much longer. I completely agree with you, but as a YouTuber, I cannot tell you that because if people do not store this food correctly, they'll die of botulism, okay? It has to be temperature controlled, all right? This is also why we talk about alternative power. It has to be temperature controlled. You cannot store this where the temperatures are fluctuating, all right? Like right now. It gets up to 76 degrees because it's wintertime, and at nighttime it drops below 40. That's fluctuating temperature. It will kill the shelf life of these cans, all this food, if it's not temperature regulated. So moving on, we stopped at the Piggly Wiggly store near me. They had some of these uh, cream of chicken soup condensed. I bought a mess of them. I, I bought every single one they had. They were on sale. Um, 
they're not they don't have the best buy date like i want to see the best buy date is 2024 that's why they're on sale they're they're got some age on them so went ahead and bought a whole bunch of them they'll go in our rotational stock but they will go before our earlier our later date ones bought a whole bunch of those we use that in our cooking a lot and i got contacted by email uh one of our viewers lives here in panama city and they notified me about the bristol ham that just came in now i do have a guy on the inside but picked up a bunch of the bristol ham we got four six eight i'm missing two i think two still in the truck i gotta go get this out but that or i left it at the store that happens a lot when you go purchase things at walmart but when I'm talking about Walmart, guys, it's because I'm looking at it, and this is my educated guess on it. You'll see a lot of YouTubers on YouTube talk about, let me tell you about what's going on at Walmart. But they don't work at Walmart. They're not a manager at Walmart. They have no affiliate with Walmart as far as working or being paid by Walmart. But they know everything that's going on behind closed doors at Walmart. A lot of BS on YouTube. All right, so tuna. I always get tuna. We eat a lot of tuna in our diet. We got two of the four packs. Uh, I get tuna and water. You can get it in vegetable oil. That's up to you. Tuna and water works better with our meal plans because there's no oil in it. We can mix it up with other foods. You can mix it up with uh, the vegetable oil if you want to. That's up to you. Do you do you? I'll do me. The Wolf Brand Chili. We got six of these, and one is the Angus beef with beans. It's actually really good, but my favorite is the No Beans Angus Beef. I freaking love this chili. Unfortunately, it's gone up a good deal. All this food has gone up, which we said it was going to. Everyone's like, oh no, food prices are not going up. Yeah, check your food prices when you go shopping. They have went up. Okay, so we got Spam. I only got three because everything else... The hams and everything else cost quite a bit more. I got two of the bacon and one of the hickory smoke. I love Spam. Fried up Spam, cold Spam, Spam right out of the can. I do not care. I love Spam. I grew up on Spam. Funny, growing up, Spam was the cheapest form of lunch meat. <laughs> now it's not. Now it's a novelty item. I don't know what happened with Spam, but now they're acting like it's minted in gold and everything else. That stuff's getting freaking rid ridiculously priced. We have a chunk chicken breast. This is the Walmart version. This is the two pack. We got four of these. And we also got five of the Chef Boyardee mini raviolis. It doesn't matter if they're the mini. Oh, check it out. I got one. That's a regular ravioli. It was in the wrong section. Cool. Uh, it doesn't matter about the mini ravioli or the normal size to me ravioli is ravioli i know some people do not like it and that's fine you do not have to eat it because my preps are not for you to eat this is for my family to eat so we prep what we eat you should do the same and i revert back to a story from a friend of mine that contacted me during the shutdowns they had purchased a crap load of ramen noodles they didn't eat any of it and then when they started getting to the expiration date on the ramen noodles, they wanted to know what do they need to do with all these ramen noodles because it's going bad and they hadn't eaten any of it. Only prep what you eat. Do not stockpile food if you have no intention of eating it. Now, I will tell you this much. If you are hungry, you'll eat it. Back to the news. So we got Russia, China. Of course, that's always a topic. Uh, here in the States, they are trying to push the civil conflict between everybody with the whole drag shows and everything else. And, of course, the you got the, the right and the left up there. Now they're all armed and everything else. This is all, all a ploy. This is every single bit of this has caused more division. Kind of funny, the last eight years, eight, last ten years... I say the last 10 years, they've been pushing everything from conflict and division between race, religion, sexual orientation, po politics, everything. Because if we're always fighting each other, can't fight them. All right, guys, definitely appreciate everything. And you guys have been hanging out with us. If you haven't been subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel. We are in the process of being shadow banned here. Yeah, 
it it sucks it's they've hit all the prepping channels they've hit all the outdoor survival channels they do not want you to be prepared so stock up <laughs>